Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is part two of Days Gone. So in the first part, we got a small introduction to the main characters of this game, Deacon and Boozer, and also we got to know about Deacon's wife or girlfriend, whoever it was, uh, Sarah. Not taking Boozer's bike. I gotta get to mine before it gets dark. And right now we are heading towards the marker on the map. I don't know yet what mission we have to do. What the hell? Boozer, are you awake? Yeah, Dick. What's up? I just saw someone sneaking around the safe house. What the hell? What's he doing? No idea. I'm gonna follow him. See if there's some more where he came from. So I yeah. guess we are just following a random guy we found near our base. So this game uh, takes place in the post-apocalyptic world where a virus outbreak took place and most of the humans turned into freaks or infected. So I guess finding someone near uh, their base is kind of a rare thing or suspicious. So. That's why he's following that guy. Oh, no, no. Sorry, that was a misclick. So the survival wheel, as they call it, uh, it is quite hard to use it because we have to click every time we have to craft something or go into a sub subcategory so if i want to craft or heal a bandage through by a bandage i have to go into medical stuff and then craft it so that is a bit hectic and till i craft it i have to hold q or any other button i keep key bind it so we just have to kill these guys So I think stealth is going to be a big thing in this game because as you can see there is a lot of tall grass and they have also given us tutorial about stealth and regaining stealth so I feel like stealth is probably going to be a big thing in this game rather than going guns blazing in a camp or anywhere. So I don't think I can craft ammo in this game yet or even later on I don't think I will be able to. I can I definitely know. I can definitely craft health whatever bandages or anything. That's the last of them. Must have followed us here. Sons of bitches. Stay the hell off. So we just have to get to the bike, I guess. Oozer, I found the camp. 
Just a few drifters looking to move in in our safe house. Like we were seeing before, it's time to start thinking about heading north. Let's get your arm fixed up and then worry about hitting the road. I'm gonna be heading to my bike, deacon out. Mike's gone. Fuck! Damn it, Copeland! Hey! You're from Copeland's camp? Where the hell is my bike? Hey, stop! What? God damn it! I'm not gonna kill you! Stop running! Boozer, are you there? Yeah, dude. Get your bike. Uh, nope. Copeland's men got to it before I did. I'm heading to his camp. Deacon out. Some son of a bitch stole my bike! I don't know nothing about that. You gotta go talk to the man. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's where I'm headed. Hey, Manny. Hey, I haven't seen you in a while lately. Oh, you've been too busy to notice. Nose down. You work hard, they feed you. Yeah, camper's life. Yeah, camper's life. I read a book once, Zen and the Art of Bike Repair. You ever read it? No, I didn't have a lot of time for books back in the day. Yeah, I ran a shop, farewell. Made all the grease monkeys read it. Being a mechanic requires great peace of mind, it said. If I work on an empty stomach, out of focus, your mind. Man, I'm looking for a bike. Oh, yeah? Oh, 
Oh, well, you don't want that one. Why not? It, it just came off the truck. I mean, some dumb son of a bitch left it out in the shit. Rusted up good. The road hard, too. The fool the road that didn't know shit about bikes. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Shot the hell this one. I mean, we just partied it out. I mean, it didn't even have a fuel pump. We could have used oh, that. Man, fuel pump like this one? Okay. Like this one, Manny. Oh, okay, okay. See, now when I said fool, what I meant was the fools that brought that bike in. See, they didn't tie that shit down properly, so they left it like rattling around back there. Hey, and... Let's talk. Looks like you had some trouble. You got hit hard last night. Rippers again. Twice now they've been up here. Some say looking for you and Boozer. Out in the shit, folks say a lot of things. The folks around here take care of their own. They go enough days without food. Well, you see how it is. Lake not holding out? You get a fair amount of trout. Lake's fed by snowmelt. No one left to stock with fish. It's gonna run out sooner or later. Like everything else. To go hunting out here with the old man. We build deer blinds out here, put down salt licks below us, pick them off clean. Some winners had so much venison we couldn't eat it all. I didn't think that was legal, deer baiting back in the day. My old man had only one law the United States Constitution. He could only see us now. America, the land of the free. We are that. I saw Leon the other day. Yeah? He was bringing me something. Is that right? Folks here in a lot of pain, Deke. Oh, Leon. <laughs> Doug said that he took off. No one's seen him. Mm. <laughs> Tell you what. You find his stash. You bring it to me. To me, Deke. You do that. Well, we'll see what we can do for you. The bike that your men stole, that your men parted out. Salvage, Deke. Salvage. All right. Mm -hmm. I'll try to keep that in mind. By the way, nice hat. What? No, this one. Don't you ever die. Now, hold on. Leon wore a hat like this, didn't he? Cool. I swear to God. Don't. You want to do business in my camp? You start doing some runs for me. Poop. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm here anyway. What do you got? Now that's more like it. A group of drifters has been harassing my supply runs. They've moved into the radio tower west of O'Leary Mountain. Isn't that your backyard? No, it's not, but uh, I'll take care of them. I thought you might. Okay, so we f we are into a camp. Copeland is the name of the camp, or that guy, I guess. So this is, I think, our first camp in this whole game. So pretty sure we can do a lot of stuff in the camp. Uh, firstly, we can sleep and turn it into a day. Then we can sell free careers and if any uh, animals are killed in the game uh, we can turn them in yeah. and get some camp credit Hello, which yeah. is money and I think <laughs> trust as you, you can, can see on the right 56 plus trust oh, uh, and also a little bit yeah. money I think and also there is a merchant and mechanic so for something from particular. merchant we can buy ammo and guns pretty sure and also I guess yeah, health and throwables and suppressors. But we need a higher That'll level of you. trust to buy any of that. So right now we cannot buy anything. All right. 
But Dick, Dick, I, hold up. I just want to say how sorry I am. I, I didn't know, I swear. You do have any idea how much time I put into that bike? It was a drifter bike, Manny. I know, I know. I, I'll make it up to you, I swear. I, I put together a new one. <laughs> you call this piece of shit a bike? I know, it's not... Look, I'll keep an eye out for, for more parts. I'll hook you up, I swear. Okay, and what about my custom gas tank, Manny? You know, the one that I got for my dead wife. You gonna keep an eye out for that one, too? Jesus, Deke, I'm sorry. Just get the fuck out of my way. Man, I... I don't want no trouble. Whatever you say, man. Hold on a second. And then there's the bike. mechanic. Okay, so we can upgrade our bike way too much in this game. And also refuel and repair the bike, I guess. So there is a ton of customization to the bike. We just need the camp credits and I think we get the camp credits through completing the side missions, pretty sure. So they have added other PlayStation big titles games themes into the bike like you, you can keep horizon zero dawn kin on your bike that is pretty cool because back when that game was release, released i loved that game and also i think now horizon zero west is coming out west forbidden like that so pretty excited for that game too What, is something wrong? <laughs> you don't want to run out of fuel in the shit, that's for sure. Should have more stuff later. Yeah. Hey, Bye. Uh, okay, see ya. What do you want? Yeah? What can I get you? Nice. Come by any time. So we are going to another oh, mission. This is not goddamn bike. You there? Yeah, Dick. How you doing? How's the arm? Like I said, I'll be fine. Okay. Uh, I'm still gonna head to that Nero checkpoint, find some uh, sterile bandages, uh, ointment, something. Yeah, sure, whatever. I'm gonna go out. Make sure the mountain's clear. Those are, no, no, those are third degree burns. You stay there, you rest, okay? I'll be there as soon as I can. Um, I guess uh, Okay, yeah, so this is Nero checkpoint, so we pretty much have to get into this small Nero camp, I guess, not camp, but survival unit, I think, that's what it is called, but to get inside that we have to remove the speakers above them and restore power and for restoring power i think we need fuel
if we don't remove the speakers all the freakers around in the area will come towards the speakers as noise attracts the freakers i guess so we need to remove all the speakers And fuel we fuel is also a big aspect in this game because you need fuel for in the bike to ride anywhere in the game and if without bike you cannot go anywhere in this game. You can fast travel but you need the bike around you and fuel in it. So fuel is another big aspect in this game. Okay, so inside this Nero survival unit, we we get an injector, which increases our. So we get an option of increasing our health, stamina, or focus. So health we have hundred, stamina we have hundred, focus I have no clue about that, but you can see the blue bar above the health bar that is stamina. So. If we want to run for a longer time, we have to increase the stamina bar. Health bar is pretty obvious. And then focus is, I think, you can slow the time for like 5 seconds, 5 to 10 seconds, I think. And get he headshots while shooting, you can do that or anytime you want to do. So yeah, we the main objective will with this injectors will be to increase health most of the time. And sometimes I think I will increase the stamina as well. I don't think I will be using focus that much. You should have bugged out with your friends. Welcome to my world, you stupid son of a bitch. Yes, sterile bandages. Just what the doctor ordered. Now I just gotta get this back to Boozer. How oh, hello? this Nero tank uh, some sort of a injector of some kind oh, why the hell not yeah. up all the day So we have to take the bandages to Boozer and I think that's about it for now. And also we have skills that we can unlock like any other game. There are lots of skills that you can unlock and discover. So you can pause and read what the skill does and all that stuff because I read this when i'm playing the game and edit it out when i'm editing the video right now i guess sir you there boozer god damn it answer me <sighs> he's not picking up So we have a story line, so also we have storylines and it shows how much we have progressed to through one storyline. 
and also in progress tab it shows all the storylines we have completed and we haven't completed so that is pretty cool to see how much progress you have done done throughout the game Hey, Boozer, I, uh, found some shit for your arm. Boozer? Oh, shit. Boozer! Hey! Oh, ah! uh, hurry. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, shit! Oh, shit, Deke. Oh, blown your goddamn head off. Look, uh, let me, let me see that arm, huh? No, no, I got Come this. Come on, let me see that arm. Come on, all right! Deke. Thanks, brother. Look, I'll, I'll be better, okay? I'm gonna be fine. So this is it for this part. We will continue on later in the next part thank you for watching